Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 8. Today we're going to be talking about a couple of new pieces of information that have been released in the last week or so. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so like I said, these articles that I'm going to be breaking down come from various sources. Also, we have a photo from the set of The Flash that I didn't get around to talking about last week. However, there is lots of big news that we're going to be going over in this video, so you're not going to want to miss out on anything, so stick around for the whole video, because I promise you it'll be worth it to stay up to date. Okay, so the first thing we're going to be breaking down is coming from Deadline. Now, they're reporting that Jesse L. Martin, who plays Joe West on Flash, who obviously has been there since the pilot episode, is set to depart The Flash as a series regular after season 8 and he will headline a new TV show, a new pilot on NBC called The Irrational. So this is big news because as you guys know there is only 4 original cast members left as series regulars on the show. Obviously some characters pop up every once in a while like Tom Kavanagh, however not all of those actors and their respective characters are around. However the people that are still around is of course Grant Gustin, Candace Patton, Danielle Panabaker and Jesse L. Martin. Now, Jesse is finally stepping away as he pursues other projects. Obviously, he's got this pilot with NBC that could be his next big thing. However, as you guys know, pilots don't always work. And so, with him actually announcing this, he will no longer be a series regular on The Flash. However, he is expected to appear in multiple episodes of The Flash in the ninth season. So, next season, he will show up or so it's expected, for at least like 5 episodes or so. That is what they're hearing right now in regards to Jesse L. Martin showing up because he is doing this pilot, he is potentially doing other projects in the meantime, but he will be back up in Vancouver to shoot The Flash. It's not like he's exiting forever, it's just he's not going to be a series regular and show up every episode or in almost all the episodes. And so this obviously comes after the report that The Flash is officially coming back for Season 9, it got renewed and Grant has got his contract and right now it's looking like Candace Patton and Daniel Panabaker are believed to be in negotiations to return for Season 9, however there's no confirmation as of right now if they're going to be showing up. Obviously some of the newer series regulars are going to be sticking around, along with of course Grant Gustin. And so what's interesting is in another article, and this is coming from The Hollywood Reporter, and it's reporting on the same thing. So it's to do with Jesse L. Martin leaving The Flash, obviously, as a series regular. However, they say, according to their sources, while no formal announcement has been made, sources say there has been talk of the series coming to a conclusion with an abbreviated final season. And so what The Hollywood Reporter means by an abbreviated final season is similar to what Arrow did, because if you guys remember, Arrow had all of its seasons, right? However, in season 8, the final season, Arrow had an abbreviated end. That means that it was like half the season. And so Arrow didn't do its normal 20 plus episodes like it usually does for a normal season, but ended with a much shorter count. And that was obviously because they wanted to do one final season to kind of put Arrow to bed instead of you know just cutting off in like a huge final season like Supergirl because if you guys remember Supergirl last season when it ended with season 6 ended with its full episode count however Arrow did an extra season on top of what they probably already planning and that was because Crisis was coming and they wanted to find a way to say goodbye to Arrow properly by extending it and having one extra season but having it not be like a huge deal, not like a 20 episode season which takes all year. So no formal announcement has been made about The Flash doing this, but The Hollywood Reporter is hearing that potential talks of such an end to the series has been made. And obviously this is probably because Arrow set this precedent and that, you know, it's a decent way to go out if you want to give like an extra season so there is a bit more time. Because as of right now and as of when they announced that season 9 was happening, they didn't mention anything to do with this being The Flash's final season. So with this talk of maybe an abbreviated final season, I would presume if this actually comes to fruition, and I'm not saying it's going to come to fruition, however there is probably a high chance that season 10 will be the last season. 
there is definitely the possibility that season 10 will be abbreviated. It will be like maybe 10 episodes long rather than, you know, 18 or 20 episodes. So what would you guys think of that? Let me know down in the comments below. I think I would be okay with that. As long as we get to season 10, I will be happy because that's always been my thing. I'm like, okay, let's get the Flash to season 10 and then we're all happy because it's like a good solid number. You don't want to end on season 9 or anything like that. So that is what we know right now and I will update you guys if we get any updates in regards to a potential ending for The Flash. However, we can only hope that it continues onwards. And even with someone like Jesse L. Martin stepping away as a series regular, it's still nice to see that he's going to show up in at least like five episodes next season beyond what he's already in this season. Similar to Tom Cavanaugh showing up again and again and again because he's a recurring character. He is a guest star of sorts rather than someone who shows up week to week to week. So let's move on to the next thing. Like I said, we have quite a few things to go over in this video. So this piece of news in regards to CW's finale dates for their current seasons right now was announced about 10 days ago. I apologize for the lack of uploads over the last week or so. I was extremely busy filming. However, I am back and like I said in my last video, I'm going to be back to daily uploads as best as I can. And this is just, you know, a kind of catch up on some of the big CW news that we have as of right now. And so we have the CW's finale dates for this season in regards to our DC TV shows. So let's talk about the first one. This first finale date is coming May 10th, which is a Tuesday. And this is Naomi season one. The finale is going to be a back-to-back -back episode. That means two final episodes starting at 8 p.m. And so May 10th is actually not very far away. That is under a month away because currently when making this video, it's April 17th. So Naomi is going to be ending next month and there is still the question of where is it going to go after this because it's not the best performing and most well loved show out there in regards to the Arrowverse. It's actually not done super well. So therefore people are questioning, you know, is there going to be a season two? When is that going to happen? Well, I don't have any good answers as of right now, but that is the official finale date. That is Tuesday, May 10th at 8 p.m where we will have back-to-back -back episodes of season one of Naomi and its final episodes. Now, the next finale date is a long ways off in regards to the Arrowverse. That next finale is Superman Lois season two. Now, Superman Lois season two is going to be ending a whole month later than Naomi. Well, a bit more than a whole month. That being June 21st on a Tuesday, of course, at 8 p.m. This is going to be Superman Lois' season 2 finale. Now, the season 2 finale is going to be happening in June. That means that that's kind of the normal date that we get for our shows if they start in the fall. It's not all that surprising. However, you could expect this to potentially be delayed even more only due to the fact that the Superman Lois show is well known for its delays in regards to filming because they're normally always behind and that's why they keep on having breaks week to week to week they have like these long two to three week breaks because they need catch up time and so with all of that catch up time there is definitely the potential that Superman Lois season 2's finale could move from that Tuesday June 21st slot and maybe move after the flash but we'll have to wait and see in regards to that so let's move on to talk about the flash because we have the season 8 finale day which is now Wednesday, June 29th. So that is a ways off currently. Like I said, we're in April right now. We have the rest of April, we have May, and then we have June. And this is right at the end of June. So June 29th, 8 p.m. This isn't back-to-back -back episodes like Naomi, neither is Superman and Lois. This is just a normal finale that we're going to be having. And then obviously they will start work on season nine. And if they go by their normal dates, it should be a Flash Season 9 premiere in October. One thing should be mentioned in regards to the Flash Season 8's finale, we don't actually know what episode this will be because they haven't actually announced. However, it's been inferred and kind of teased that maybe we're going to have more than 18 episodes this season. Considering the way that Eric Wallace talked about the graphic novels and how we have you know, a couple more episodes here and there. It could potentially be extended to 20 episodes. And as of right now, doing some quick calculations in regards to how many Wednesdays we have until June 29th. If we have no breaks from when episode 12 airs, not this week, but next week, that would mean we would have 21 episodes. 
However, you have to take into account that there is probably going to be a week break between some of the episodes every once in a while. So I would say 21 episodes is not going to happen. However, it's possible it could be 20, it's possible it could be 19, or they could go with their normal 18, which they've set up over the last couple of seasons. But I would say unless they plan like a three week break and then we would only have 18 episodes, it's definitely possible that we could extend it to 20 episodes this season. Okay, so that is the CW finale dates in regards to the Arrowverse shows. Let's move on to the last thing in this video. We have a new photo which is coming from Canada Grass. His blog and his Patreon is going to be in the link in the description below. And this photo showcases a new speedster on The Flash. So it's been a while since this photo was released by Canada Graphs, however, I still wanted to talk about it because it's a big deal. And there were some other set photos that are absolutely crazy that have been going around. However, I'm not going to cover that because it's a very, very big spoiler. I feel like this is, you know, a little bit less because we were expecting this. There was a reference to Fast Track this season in regards to Fast Track Labs in the Barty Nora episode where we saw Avery for the first time, who is the Flash of China in the comics. And so this photo right here that you see on the screen is of a new speedster played by an unknown actor. I'm not sure who she is, but this looks exactly like... Mina Darwin, aka Fast Track from the comics, and this is her costume she wears when she is evil. This is not her superhero costume when she was good, because in the comics, Mina actually worked with Barry for a while before going evil. So I definitely think there is a high chance that one of the back graphic novels of the season is going to be featuring Fast Track as a villain, and potentially her working with some other speedsters, which again, not going to go into spoilers. However, this suit is awesome because it's extremely comic book accurate. We got this black flash suit, similar to Zoom, I guess, in some way, but it's more kind of streamlined and it looks very similar to her comic book costume, although her lightning bolt is a bit different. It's a bit more like the normal one in the Flash TV show because in the comics it kind of goes a bit more horizontally and her lightning in the comics, if you guys didn't know, is kind of like white when she eventually gets this costume and I would presume this is going to be a big deal when she actually shows up because this is a new speedster. They always make a huge deal out of new speedsters and no good speedster normally wears a black suit so you can definitely presume something evil is going on here and potentially she has plans to take down the Flash. Now I have no idea in regards to her origins could this be some sort of repercussion of, you know, all the time travel and that's, you know, related to Avery and Bart and Nora because we know that they will eventually come back because they were shooting and seen in Vancouver the other day. So maybe this is the episode around the time when Bart and Nora are going to be returning and we'll see them facing off against Fast Track. Now, I think Fast Track is a great addition to the show because we've been waiting for this for a while. There's been lots of references and lots of teasers and people thinking, oh, when is Fast Track going to be coming? Because she's a big deal in the comics. We had Godspeed on the show and she was literally introduced at the same time as Godspeed in Flash Rebirth. So why hasn't she shown up? So it was kind of a no-brainer and I don't think it's that shocking that she showed up, but I think it's quite shocking to see her actually in live action because the suit is actually really cool, like, I love it, it looks amazing. So, good on Canada Graphs to get in this photo, and I can't wait to see more in regards to potentially Mina Darwin. Again, it isn't confirmed what they're going to call her on the show, if she's fast track or not. Is she good? Is she bad? Are we going to see the two different sides of her? But for now, it's more than enough to see that she's officially coming, and that is super, super exciting. So that about does it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos. And you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. And just before we end this, I want to remind you guys that I'm running a crowdfunding campaign for a new film that I'm directing. If you guys can click on the link in the description below, the Indiegogo link, and support my film, that would be greatly appreciated. Any support is good enough, as big or as little as you want. I really appreciate you guys, and there is lots of perks over there, including coming to film with me when the production actually goes ahead. So, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.
I see red.